Uh, let's talk about the height checker. So you are given the integer array height. So represent the current order that the student are standing. So uh, basically just uh, return the number of the indices where the height i does not equal to x pad i. So you have to reorder from the, I mean, just ascending order, right? So it's non, -dis non decreasing order, just ascending order, right? So it's going to be from 0 to uh, 10, something, something like this, right? And then let's talk about the example. So uh, this is the current the order. So you probably have to uh, put the one back to here, right? One, and then two should be here. So I replace one and four, right? But now there's a three behind, right? So you have to what? Uh, replace a three with this one, right? So one, 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 two, three, four. So how many posi position you uh, you swap, right? It's gonna be what? One, two, three. So this is three for the answer. And again, this is going to be what entire array, right? Because this is not the smallest to highest, even though like this is already sorted, right? But uh, because of this, uh, you need to swap entire array uh, left by one, right? And then you have to put your five at the end. All right. So the idea is pretty similar. So I can actually uh, create a create another array and. Then the new array I create, right? I sort it, right? And then now I can what? I can compare with the current height array. Then I can know the number of the index C, uh, which does not sort in the, I mean, that does not position well comparing to the sorting array. So, uh, so now like this is the height array, right? So the sorting array is going to be what? One, 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 two, three, four. So I, I already know. I'm gonna compare one by one. So these are the same. So I skip. So these are the same. So I skip. And sorry, these are the same. So I skip. And this, the this are not right. So I increment increment my counter by one. So I, I skip. So these are the same. I skip. These are not the same, right? So I increment by one. This are not the same, I increment by one. So this is gonna be my first solution. Creating a copy array, then I can just what? Uh, compare it, right? So I'm gonna say in, I'm gonna just say uh, clone, uh, clone height, something like this, right? And I can just say height.clone. And then uh, I will have to have the result the result represent the number of the position you uh, you swap, right? And then I'm going to sort my copy array clone height, right? And then for in i equal to zero, i less than uh, high star length and then i plus plus. So for every single index, if they are not the same, does not equal to clone height i. I basically increment my result. So this is pretty much my solution. And submit. So, all right. And this is a new feature and I don't like it. All right, now I put a debug mode, okay? And how do I use the debug? Right here. So start debugging. So I'm going to just, you know, I'm going to just uh, keep going for debug mode until it finish. So you will stop at any second. Just look at here. Any second you want. And I'm not gonna explain because this is pretty pretty straightforward. Alright, so it's pretty much it, right? So just based on this and you'll be able to solve it. So now uh, let's look at uh, look at another answer. I mean solution. So um, if this is if this is like sorting, right, from smallest to highest, I can use a counting array. So I'm going to have a counting array from what? From zero to what? To n. So n represent, I mean, n is the constraint. So I'm going to look at the constraint. What is the range between the height array? And I can just create the n space for the height array and then increment by one for every single time, if uh, 
if there's a student at you know one, then I will just increment my array at one, you know, and then later on I will just have to what, um, just comparing my first index, my first index in the high with my counting array, and this is so the this is pretty much the solution. So uh, I'm going to start coding. So the concept is pretty similar, but I'm going to I'm I'm not going to explain what is the counting array, and Mm, I mean, they just stop calling. So I'm going to say uh, counting new int. So let's look at the what? The size is going to be what? 1 to 100, right? So including the what? Including the 0 index, it's going to be 101. Alright, so now I'm going to have in height height. So what I'm going to do here is what? Our increment. Uh, I will put every single height, single one, into the counting array. So I will increment by the height. And now I store every single what? Single value, single height into the counting array. Now I can actually what? Uh, create an index and also the result. So the edge represents the index uh, at the current position, be honest, right? And current position for what? For the counting array. And I'm going to traverse. Again, I'm, I have to traverse. I have to traverse the highest array. So in this folder, in this folder, I'm going to just keep track of what? The current... Wait, what, uh, why, why there's a... Uh, Illegal star element. Okay, so I don't know what happened, but yes. So I'm gonna keep track of keep track of the value, uh, i position when I traverse in my counting array. So there, uh, so there might be a counting array at position one. So imagine I I only have what well, one three five, but I need to clear from zero to one hundred, right? So this is 101 space, right? And I know I only have one, uh, one, three, five, two, three, four, five, six, da, da, da. For one, three, five, I increment by one, right? And everything else is what? It's actually zero, right? So I need to, I need to skip the zero value in the counting array. So how do you need to skip? You need to use a while loop inside the for loop, right? So while the counting at edge, so edge represent what? The index for counting array. If edge is actually equal to zero, edge plus plus. Alright, so now when I break out the while loop, I know my current smallest, which is the current smallest uh, counting array value, right? So I'm gonna say if if the edge, so edge represent the what? The index as well as the current value height, right? So you, you so you look at this, right? You put every single height into it, right? Imagine you put one, right? So now edge is represent one because they are the same, right? If edge does not equal the current height AI, right? If these are not the same, I will increment my resource. And the new feature I don't like is this. So once so once they compare, right? I need to what decrement the value by one in a counting array because I already use it, right? So imagine I I compare what uh, I compare. Uh, so now the current high is what current high is one, two, three, four, five, and this is not good. All right, current height. Let me let me just do another example. Current height is gonna be one 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 two, right? So now the current edge is what. The current edge, so I skip the uh, counting array at edge is equal to zero, so I skip the zero index. Now my current edge is what? It's one, right? But in the counting array, in the counting array at index one, there are two records, right? So I need to decrement by one, right? I need to decrement by one when there's an iteration, right? So I need to say counting at edge minus minus. So I'm, so I'm still at this position, but now the value at the counting array is 1. So the next iteration for the height, I need to compare with the remaining 
uh, value inside a counting array. So this is going to be pretty much it. H minus minus minus. So let me run it. So hopefully I don't have typo. All right. So uh, I don't think that there is a debug. I mean, there, there is a need for debug mode, but whatever. I'm going to explain the time and space complexity for this one as well as the other one. So this is a space. This is going to be all of 101. And yes, this is it, right? 101 for the space. And this is the time, all of h. h represents the length of the height. This is all of h, right? All of h. And inside the value, you need to keep track of the uh, every single position in the counting array. So it's going to be, the worst case is going to be what? All of 101. So the worst case for the time is going to be all of h times 101. But we, we actually ignore the constant value, so it's all going to be all of h. And the space is going to be what? This is constant value, all of 101. So I would say it is also constant. It is also constant. So uh, let me copy my the first solution. So the time and space for this one, the space is what all of n. Oh, sorry, all of h. H represents length of the height, right? And the time is going to be what h log h, right? Because of sorting using the collection dot sort, right? The time complexity is h log h, and as well as n log n, right? Alright, so this is the unlogger, this is all of h, right? So the worst case is going to be what? This one, right? The sorting. So it's going to be all of h log h. So uh, time, all of h log h, space, all of h. So this is a solution. So if you have any question, leave a comment below. Subscribe if you want it. And then see you later. Bye.